Hi, Long B. Hello. He will be keeping me company today. Hi. <laughs> Fuck. So, I know I haven't uploaded a video in four months. Um, some stuff has happened. Um, Connor and I broke up. Um, he moved back to San Francisco at the end of September. And I just ask that y'all um, respect our privacies and stuff. It's been a little while since the breakup, but I just ask that y'all be decent and yeah, just respect our privacy and stuff because it already sucks enough having to talk about shit like this on a public platform. So I guess I just wanted to upload something before the end of the year um, just to say that like, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. It's just been a very difficult autumn and I'm just not I've learned that I'm not one of those people that can, like, make stuff when um, they're going through a really hard time. I know there are some people that make, like, a lot of art or they write a lot or they, like, make, like, really incredible moving YouTube videos or... I can't do that. <laughs> I've basically just been playing. Um, I I replayed Persona 5 Royal for the fourth time so this is my fourth time playing persona it's my second time playing through royal if you've played royal i don't want to do spoilers um but if you've played royal i meant like the you have like the final bonus dungeon and then you have like the final dungeon from the vanilla game and then i'm at the second to last dungeon for the for from the vanilla game um and it's at the point where the thing happens with your rival and i don't want to go through that so I put that down and then I've just been playing a lot of Genshin Impact and Stardew Valley. I've been having a grand old time with Stardew Valley mods. And then obviously I've also just been knitting and crocheting a lot. I find that knitting and crocheting is, and like I haven't really been drawing much. Um, I have been keeping up with my Patreon and things like that. I just, I've mostly really just been crocheting and knitting a lot because it's been a huge comfort to me. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's it's maybe it's less difficult for me to judge myself when I'm knitting and crocheting than it is when I'm drawing. Um, especially when I feel bad already, you know, but yeah. So I, I just wanted to upload a short little something to say hello, update you guys on, um, sort of a significant, oh, hello. I might need to heat up some soup for lunch. My tummy just grumbled. Yeah. Basically just update you on what's happening in my life. Um, and, you know, it's the last day of the year. I'm not doing anything. Um, I think I'm gonna, I bought a lot of really good stuff to make really good yummy vegetable soup. So, um, I think I might make vegetable soup tonight and then I think I might just have like a friend or two over to eat soup <laughs> and ring in the new year. Um, so nothing too crazy. I really am a homebody. I love it. Um, pretty cool things happening in January, though. Um, I booked a I booked an understudy gig. This will be my second professional understudy gig. I will be understudying for Sense and Sensibility at Village Theater. Um, so if anyone is in the Seattle-ish area and you want to come see the show, come on out. Um, we open in February. But I'm really excited for... I'm really excited for that job in January. Um, I will be moving out of this apartment at the end of March. Um, and I'm looking to find a slightly bigger apartment so that I can condense my studio and my apartment into one so I can have a home studio again. Um, because then I can have all of my streaming stuff and all of my art stuff in one place. And I can work from home with the cats and things and hang out with them. My sweet, beautiful baby angels. Um, oh, Pepper and Soph are getting on pretty okay now. I, like, leave them alone. I'm able to, like, go to the studio and, like, leave them alone together in the apartment for most of the day, and they don't really get into anything. Sophie will sometimes chase Pepper around, but it's usually for, like, 10 minutes or so, and then 
she loses interest and does something else. So it feels much more like play than aggression. Sometimes it feels like aggression and that's when I step in. But most of the time it feels pretty benign. But I'm hoping to move into a, yeah, so a slightly bigger spot. So then I will be getting rid of my studio um, and condensing everything into one space. And those are kind of my only concrete plans for next year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what lies ahead. I don't want to make any promises. I don't want to like tell you guys that I'm going to be doing things next year or uploading more videos or like streaming more or doing any of these things because um, I, I don't trust myself to follow through on those. Um, since learning I have ADHD, um, it's taught me a lot about, um, I've been learning a lot about how I approach my life and my goals and things. Uh, and I saw a TikTok, I want to say a couple weeks ago, and it was about this guy who is like, as an ADHD person, something that you will have to make peace with, unfortunately, is the fact that any new habits, any new routines you try and start, anything like that is going to have a 100% relapse rate. And you will always have to start back from zero. And that's not a moral failing on your part. It is simply the way that your brain works. And that sucks because my whole life, all I try and do is start new routines and new habits and make new lasting changes in my life. And I always fall short. Stuff always falls through the cracks. And I spent a really long time being very mean to myself about it. Um, and since seeing that TikTok, I have been a lot more forgiving with myself. And so like I say, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to say that I'll be doing certain things next year, like as far as my business or my channel or anything goes, because um, again, I don't know if I'll be able to follow through. Um, but that's not like a dig at myself that's just like me being honest and um I just kind of want I just want to keep learning how to be more realistic with myself um and also know that I'm not you know <laughs> I'm not it's not that I'm not trying hard enough which is what I thought like most of my life I was like oh you're just not trying hard enough to do xyz for me it was just like for now, I can just realize it's like, oh, no, you're trying very hard. It's just that, you know, your your results will look different and um, we have to make adjustments accordingly. <laughs> so that's what I'm learning to do. I've got I've collected like a lot of random footage over the last couple months. Like I filmed some stuff towards the end of November and like when I was making a pie for Friendsgiving and I recorded some stuff when I went home for Christmas, when I went back to Texas for Christmas and stuff, but I don't have the energy to edit it into anything. So I thought that this would be easier for me and also mean that I can actually get something up before the end of the year. I wrote like a little sort of thank you goodbye post on my Patreon um, yesterday and I was... I've been watching a lot of Brian David Gilbert videos lately <laughs> because obviously like his videos are so weird and <laughs> comforting, even like the creepy ones. And I just love, he wrote like a 2022 thank you post and he was basically just like, thanks for kind of like watching the things that I make everything from videos about the U S healthcare system to like silly cooking videos and stuff. And I feel like I have been married to the like studio vlogger thing for so long and I think it's a little tiring. So I kind of, I still like doing it, but I want to make other stuff. Like I'd love to maybe try my hand at video essays um, or at least doing one of those, you know, um, I want to do a video on Persona 5. So basically like summarizing the entire plot of Persona 5 Royal so you don't have in case you don't have 150 hours to spend playing this video game <laughs> I wanted to do one of those kinds of videos a la Mike's Mike um and Carrier can read I also just want to make more like little cooking or baking videos or um I don't know maybe gaming videos I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing gaming videos from me 
but maybe I'll just, maybe I'll keep that to Twitch. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll start a second channel. I don't want to start a second channel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to take, I'm, I'm really truly trying to just take it like a day at a time right now. That is all I have for you. I hope that your 2022 is okay. I would say this has probably been one of the hardest years of my life. Um, but I'm here. Somehow I'm here. And you are too. Which is cool. Um, and I'm really proud of you. So. Uh, I hope that 2023... I, I'm not going to sell you... I, I'm not going to talk to you about like the... New Year wellness bullshit where everyone's like, 2023 is your chance to be your best you yet. This is your year where everything's going to fall into place for you. Just like, (laughs) I hope that the next year is good to you in any which way or form you need it to be. You made it through 2022, whatever this last year looked like for you. And I hope that your coming year... I hope that our coming year brings us joy and peace and comfort and just, I hope, for me at least, I hope my 2023 is a wee bit kinder to me than my 2022 was, but we'll see. We shall see. Again, this is a very short video for me. I know my videos are usually like 20 plus minutes long, but a little short one from me. I'm going to to drink my tea and heat up some soup, some black bean soup, and play Stardew Valley. (laughs) Uh, I think that's my main, I think that's my main thing for today. I've just gotten so into Stardew Valley. I've gotten so into Stardew Valley mods. Nexus mods, I can spend hours on that website. It's just so fun. Like, I have like four different portrait mods that I'm using. I like got a new farm map mod, so like my farm is really small and cute. I have like a mod that turns all of your farm buildings into like Japanese style buildings. I have like so many UI mods and I have this mod that makes the trees look beautiful. And I'm like almost all of my mods are just like aesthetic wise um, or just some just like little UI things to give me to give you some more information on stuff. But I'm trying I, I want to get to perfection on this tiny farm and I want to try and do it by the book. So but honestly, the farm might be too small. I don't know. (laughs) Happy New Year. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. And Long B says bye. Goodbye. Oh, and so does. So does Percy. Goodbye. Adieu. (laughs) I'll talk to you later. Bye. Where is it? Okay. Bye. (laughs) Make it through this year if it kills me. Bum, 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 bum.